everybody, today a quick look at the fascinating in my opinion new fixed blade from Martini. Martini is from company from Finland and they make a lot, really a lot of fixed blades for typical Scandinavian outdoor use. Finland and, and in fact the northern regions of Sweden and Norway as well are countries where people traditionally at least uh, uh, carry a fixed blade for various utilities and actually here I have and I discussed them before also some of the more classic martini knives beautiful Scandinavian design for this one and also here a more utilitarian one with a rubberized handle and a carbon steel blade and which I used already because you can see that it's stained but that's okay that's part of it eh? um, so that is what they often make and very popular at least so at a good price these knives are not full tang what do i mean is well <coughs> the knife here is on a kind of a stick that's inside the handle which makes it perfectly acceptable for all kinds of outdoor use but not for chopping wood if that is your survivalist uh, thing let's put it that way well i think personally I, I usually think if you want to chop take an axe if you want to cut take a knife so uh, for me that doesn't matter so much but it there is something to be said for the general extra feel of sturdiness of a full tank blade meaning that the whole knife is uh, is actually when you look at it in the cross section based of metal with just some handle material attached to it which the classic scandinavian knives like these ones aren't so but well indeed recently ma ma uh, martini um, launched this one which I would say is even a super hyper full tank because indeed look at this it's one lump of metal with a bit of um, a bit of packa wood in the handle beside it so it is an extremely stable kind of knife um, that can should be able to withstand a lot of abuse really something that brings you to the other side of the world it's almost super full tank because well, usually full time knife at the bottom and at the top looks like this. Eh? You see the metal of the blade and handle material, but here there is kind of a roof of, a, of extra metal, so it's really extremely sturdy. There is a price, uh, it is pretty heavy. I, let's see how heavy it is. Um, but it looks good, eh? I think. It looks very modern. And, uh, um, it looks very modern in a quite unique way. So let's see here. Well, almost 280 grams. So indeed, you, you feel it. And this, by the way, is a pretty good sheet for it. It sits well. There is some material, in, plastic material inside, so that you don't too easily cut through the uh, through the leather. It's leather. Well, I think it's quite okay. The handle. It's a bit loose, well, it's a tiny, it can move a tiny bit, but nothing to worry about. So it's a really departure from the classical uh, Martini blades. What else about it? Well, the, how long is the blade? Well, depending on here how you measure, but I would say if you measure just the cutting part and you do it horizontally, then you see it's. Um, is 10,7 centimeters or so. This they call the grind is what they call a scandy grind. Look, it goes here from the part of the thicker stock. It goes straight to the to the edge. Uh, but perhaps a, yeah, there can be a slight secondary bevel, but not much. Anyway, this kind of uh, of grind is very good for wood carving, which befits the typical Scandinavian outdoor usage. So really, uh, to let's say cut branches for a shelter, or whatever, the kind that a scandi grind is really good for that. The blade is a hefty four millimeter thick here and here. It is something like at the top because it's a bit rounded all over. At the top, it's it's, it's quite amazing actually. It is uh, 11 millimeter, but the thickest part is around uh, of the metal at least is around one and a half centimeter. So, um, really, <laughs> really serious thing. It has this coil, which if you hold it, I would, I would say normally, it tremendously helps the hand holding. Um, so, 
Dus zo je, zodat je your, your hand certainly won't slip forward. I like that. Well, if you have a lot of use for other, other kind of grips, which I rarely do, then of course a hole is, is less ideal. But come, how often do you do that? Eh? For normal use, this is absolutely perfect. Notice also there is a bit of belly here in the blade. While the class, I, I think the, the classic ones, uh, they are uh, much straighter before they ramp up here. Here it's really, it has more belly, which really helps for general cutting all over. Now, the big mystery for me is which is the steel. Um, well, traditionally, um, Ma Martini say that they use, for most of their blades, stain stainless steel. Which, if you look it up a bit, is, is actually kind of a 420 steel. Meaning by today's standard, relatively soft, but... Uh, there is a historic reason for that, also e very easy to sharpen out there in the wild. I mean, still several uh, buck knives, at least affordable ones, are also in a well heat treated 420, which keeps an edge reasonably long. But, um, okay, if you will be wood carving all day, then you will have to sharpen it pretty often. But that's traditional, and you see here stainless steel. Uh, it could... It may well be true. However, I've also found another picture of this very same knife that said here for 40 in front. And I found descriptions uh, on websites saying that this is 440C. It's, uh, for me it's a bit puzzling. On the, um, on the Martini site they simply say stainless, which leads me to think that most likely uh, this, this one at least is, an, uh, is some kind of 420 variant. So, not a high-end steel, but what is good, very tough actually. Uh, it won't ship easily. It's and it's also also interesting for this kind of outdoor use. It's absolutely stainless. There is one production imperfection, while I think in general it is really well made. Eh? What is the production imperfection? Can, yeah, I think you can see it. I think here the two angles here are not exactly the same from the left and the right. I've, uh, uh, left, there's a slight asymmetry here at the big, uh, where actually where the handle begins, you could say. It's not a big deal, eh, but uh, you can see it. It's not exactly the same angle here, and it, it seems that this one at the right um, and, and at the left is start widening at slightly different places. But okay, um, I don't mind too much for it because it is for a heavy duty full tang blade it is absolutely not too expensive at all so i, I think this is quite something fun eh? for if you want a very stable outdoor knife you're you don't care that it's heavier than <laughs> than usual uh, you want something really sturdy and you are on a budget then this seems pretty good eh? and you know that it will do well around uh, around wood that's what this kind of grind really helps for it's a bit thick if you want to do food prep while uh, out there. Well, it depends if what kind of food prep. Of course, you can chop everything with such a thing. But if you are a bit delicate, it's actually a bit too thick here. Uh, myself, is it? So I, I bought it because I thought it's good in the hand. It looks very special and it's very good actually. Very modern, timeless in a way and unique with this bridge. Um, or how would I say this at the top? Would I use it often? Well, actually, to be honest, I used um, the very light Spyderco Bill Moran on my last holiday. For me, that was perfect. And I, I must say, indeed, I am for really going on holiday with it. Because I'm not going on an expedition to uh, outer Siberia, let's say. I'm more yeah, standard holiday, uh, you could say. Um, with some outdoor uh, usage as well. I would rather go for something much lighter weight, which is not designed for shopping, like here a classic Scandinavian knife, or that, oops, or that, um, um, uh, or that Bill Moran that I discussed recently. Um, but still, lovely, lovely blade and and quite recommended actually. I cut a t I cut a bit of wood with it and it worked very well, just to just to test it out, but. Of course, it's heavy, eh? 270 grams, uh, 280 almost. You feel that you have it on you, but with a lot of class. So, I hope you found this um, an interesting discovery of a brand that is more, 
that you probably know from the classic Scandinavian knives and from the famous filleting knives, those very flexible thin uh, blades if you want to fillet fish. Uh, well, for a really reasonable price, this is also something fun. I have seen it once on a picture with um, a birch wood inlay, which actually looks even better than this dark kappa wood in my opinion. But I, I only saw it after I had this knife. So, the Martini Full Tang, that's the knife, I hope you found this interesting.